Cool Academy. But seeing the reality of your girl with another man might just be the wake-up call you need. When you okay, uh, you're gonna die. I'm not. <laughs> Tool Academy. My first thought is, Becky, me and you could definitely go have a quickie. I'm just trying to say you're dead, but what's in my pants is very much alive. Tool Academy. <laughs> ah, ah, air Tommy, swing. No. Tool Academy, a show from 2009. We're in season two, and this show is a hilarious show where they took a bunch of tools and bad guys in relationships, their girlfriends signed them up for their show, to be reformed boyfriends for $100,000. We're in episode six. You know that. I know that. Let's jump in. Tonight, egos clash as the guys continue the fight to become alpha male. You make the first move and I'll check mate on your bitch. You can swing on that all you want. But the most shocking battle is over in the ladies' house. Bitch. What? Where my face? Cause I am, bitch. It's an episode so volatile. Bitch, you talk too much, bitch. So emotional. Why are you mad right now? <laughs> so ridiculous. Hopefully I can, uh. Narrator selling uh, it. That two tools will go home. You're just a tool. It all starts now. You're just a tool. Tools. The narrator really sold this one. Holy shit, this guy's excited. Is he a streamer? This guy's a streamer too. But before, you wasn't talking nothing. Oh, because it's John left, that's why it became wild, right? Now, you know, big John the left, it's a lot of people that they want to take the king's position. I feel like Frank is not a, not a leader. Frank is a follower. You never step to You leave where he going. Why do they need a like king position? Own. Why is that needed? <laughs> Did John just create like a power vacuum? Or they thought they needed that? I, I don't, okay. I You're like trying Frank to reform relationships with your girlfriends. Remember Frank the thing? You never step to you leave where he gone and you step up like you own the pay. You know what? This ain't your seat. You ain't a king. Charm has always been trying to blow Charm up, trying to get all this publicity. And I feel he's a fake ass bitch. What you just like chess? You make the first move and I'll check made on your bitch ass. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I have like a little CD cover of Dre's and I also have a flyer from the club that him and his group promote at. I just left them sitting in a pile on the table and I noticed that one of the CD covers was gone. We just all kind of thought it was a little fishy how Dre P's promotional cards were laying out. We we're all thinking like, kind of huh, tough. Hold on, can we get a look at those real fast? Whoa, this looks pretty sick actually. Shit, that's hard. That's real hard. This one's just a magazine about Tuesday. Fresh Fridays, you be the judge. We we're all thinking like, huh, maybe they're both here just to further their careers. One of them's missing because Christina gave it to Amanda to bring to show to Trina. The Bitch, original the cloud sharks. Say we're here promoting his music and then take some of mine. From the very beginning, it's always been about Dre P and his music. You obviously have no common sense, you dumbass bitch. Knowing how Leah is, I felt it would be a more appropriate place to do such a discussion in therapy. My is gone, and it was you of all people? That's up. And you a fake ass bitch, and you need to grow some common sense, you stupid ass bitch. Well, Leah, then you. Shut up. Don't say. Oh, you can say your. <laughs> Just took it all. Tried to say two words back. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay, you're trying to promote your music. You don't have a lot of proof. And even if they are, it's not necessarily bad if you see through it. But you took their CD cover, so you get the beats. One of them is missing because Christina gave it to Amanda to bring to show to Trina. Oh, they grabbed it to show Trina? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're snitching, snitching. They didn't even just steal the CD cover. One of the girls grabbed it so she can go show it and snitch it to Trina. Oh, that's fucked up. Stupid ass bitch. Well, Leah, then you- Shut up. Don't say Oh, you can say your- Yeah. We can't tell our story because it doesn't matter. Only her stories matter. Oh, Amanda, you're stupid as I'm talking to bitches that don't even like you, you dumb bitch. All right, you guys can say something back. Come on. Is Leah the new John? You know, while the guys are fighting for the alpha male in the other house, I think Leah might have it. Everyone just took it. <laughs> Morning. We were told this is gonna be a double elimination round and two people are going home. And I know that there's a lot riding on this one. I know oh, I gotta go your shirt. Sent during this Classic. therapy session. This week, we're gonna be focusing on communication. Communication is the most important thing you ever need in a relationship. That's the thing that keeps you guys together. And that's the thing that me and Shay lack the most. In any relationship, it's really important okay. to express Seems like feelings. he gets it now. I know many of you have problems with communication, not only in your relationships, but also with your housemates at the academy. So today we're going to conduct a group therapy session so that everyone Don't can you do that every the time? air and vent their concerns constructively. I know, Charm, you've got an awful lot of issues on this. 
I feel like um, with me and um, all the other guys in the house, I feel like oh, all you guys took your anger out on me when I got kicked out of the room. Nah. Oh. Cool. <laughs> and I feel like that was immature. But there's been several occasions where you just go up to random people and be like, go ahead, hit me, hit me, hit me. I don't know what the deal is with Charm. Like, he's always starting with people. Yeah, I don't he's think they were just kicking out of the room for no reason. I can't remember exactly why, but I remember it was a fight that he started. So I don't think it's just like they were just kicking you out for no reason. <laughs> Just try to win the money at the end, really. I don't think he's really here for his girlfriend at all. I'm not arguing with you to fight you and, like, physically fight you. I'm, like, trying to maybe, verbally... Maybe you, maybe you might not be, but Tyler was pushing his forehead against my forehead, and he was trying to flex on me. What's up? Lean on me. <laughs> Lean up on me, dude. Kiss me. Said, Kiss me, bitch. Tired. I said, listen, do you cuddle me. me. You think I'm scared of you, dude? Honestly? Are you kidding me, dude? I'm not... Are you kissing me, dude? Any day, dude. I'll tell you straight up. The reason I'm not going to hit you is because I'm here for Shay, and I know if I do hit you, I'm going to go home. Charm's just really self-absorbed. He doesn't really talk about his girlfriend at all. I never really hear him telling stories about his girlfriend or telling stories about, you know, the stuff that they've done in the past. And Because right. you're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair to Charm, I don't think Charm is liked by anybody, so I don't think he's going to open up to you about stories of his girlfriend. That's not your best evidence for him just being here for clout, but I do think he might be. I'm just saying, you know. He never opens up to me. That's so weird. Andrea, let him know what you're thinking and feeling. Everybody in the house, you have a problem with them, and it's really hard having a boyfriend that nobody likes. I'm always having to justify what you do. I don't want to hear talk no bull**t or anybody tell nobody nobody don't like me. That's a damn lie. Look at Andrew when you're talking you don't, to him. I don't understand why you, why you say that. You don't even have like a lot of friends and for you to say nobody likes me. That's a freaking, that's a cute Oh, thing. God. They always show their true colors when they get a little, just a little light criticism. And that's when the true colors come out. We saw it with T-Shaw and now we see it with Charm. Just the lightest criticism. It's annoying that people don't like you. Well, you don't even have that many friends. <laughs> There's no friends of yours to not like me. Andrea, you're not able to say what you need to say to Pointless. him. Pointless. Is it? Yeah, whatever. So, Chom, what do you love about Andrea? You know, I feel like, I don't know, I love that you are, that you have been there for me. I love that, you know, that you always are thinking of me. I love that I feel like you really, really, you invest a lot of energy in me, a lot of time in me, that you really- Charm's putting me back on like his like, oh shit, I gotta stay on the show face. Oh, fuck. Uh, I love a lot of things about you. I love your hair, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Uh, uh, you, 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 I love you and your energy. I forgot I got to win the show. I should not have let my true self out there for a second. Whoops. I love that, you know, that you always are thinking of me. I love that I feel like you really, really, you invest a lot of energy in me, a lot of time in me, that you really value me. Can I time you out? I'm sorry. Everything that he loves about me has to do with taking care of him or all about him. It's not like I love your smile. Ah, uh, you should have said you like her lips. I knew what to say, actually. Um, there were many other things you perhaps wanted to hear from John, mm. and you didn't get it. So I said something wrong? Did I say something wrong to you? What do you want me to say? I don't want you to say how you feel, but it's just sad what, that you what, feel what that should way. I say? Ah, God. Oh! Sorry, I paused it right when he's about to make a stance. He just said, I'm not. I'm gonna stay in this class. That was just a knee slap. She's up there. Straight up. I ain't gotta deal with this. Fake ass bull. Wow. Every guy in that room right, right now, now I'm easy, not just be normal, at the and charm I loses. I feel like the therapy went horribly. A lot of charms issues came out in therapy, and I'm not sure if it's something that can be fixed. I apologize for leaving the therapy room. I really do apologize. You want to break up now? It's okay, Charm. Speed run it. Let's sit down for a second. Oh, Trina. I wanted to leave the Tool Academy, but then Trina came back outside to talk to me. When Andrea has said that I don't get, I have, I don't get along with anybody. That threw me in defense mm -hmm. big time. You know. You're facing some big issues and some big fears. And I think you now have a chance to sort of sit down and identify it. So maybe you can be brave enough to, you know, come back in. Uh, this is communication. I don't need to be in that environment. Like, I don't know what the hell. Like, I'm not that in need of... And, and so maybe, so, you know, what you're doing is sort of in a way giving up. But I think it'd be really useful for you to come back in, stay part of the therapy, and we'll go from there. All right. All right? All right, thank you. All right, Trina. Good job. Good little therapy mission there to get him back on the show. If it was me, I would have went out there and be like, honestly, Charm, I don't really like you either. But you signed up for this shit. There's $100,000 on the line. So are you going to get your ass back in there or not? Turn it on, Charm. Come on. If I'm really here and I'm trying to get help, why would you run? That's what I thought to myself. I said, you know, you're upset. You're mad. You're angry. <laughs> 
what the flip? I, I what what a flip on thought processes there. Why would you run if a whole point of me being here is to get better? Because you're not getting better. Because we're on week six and you haven't gotten better. Maybe that's why. What the hell? All right, I'll come back in. I'm this really is all my here, girlfriend's fault. Get help. Maybe Charm, you'd like to say something to Andrew and help get her back in. You made a comment that I don't get along with anybody. Like I felt I took offense, and then you didn't like what I said about you. That made you upset. And then like I couldn't really listen to what you were saying. I can listen to what you're saying about anything else because I was so upset already. I just feel like that was a very therapy is a safe. Don't think you communicate your thoughts very well there, but okay. I felt like I can say what I really thought, and then you just get mad, and I feel like just like scared to even say what I want to because it's not me peeing; it's a fountain. Up. When she told me she like, she, what she want me to say what I value about you, like you weren't happy with that. I thought it was just almost funny that everything had to relate back to you love me because I take care of you, because I'm there for you. It's not anything that you love about Andrea. If Charm wants us to be together, then he needs to be the one showing that he wants to make it work. It's almost like he doesn't understand it, he doesn't get it. The stress level is like above <laughs> my head. Yeah. Really cool. I mean, the big problem there was what we said before. As soon as she gave him any pushback, any like criticism, he blew up. I'm here feeling like a loser, tell you the truth. Okay, so the men here aren't the only ones with issues. You ladies have had some infighting too. I brought a t shirt and some, a couple of his CD covers and a couple of his posters. So I set the things down, I stacked one on top of each other, set them down on the table thinking that the rest of the women in this house would respect this being my stuff and not touch it. Come to find out today, she turns around and picked up some property that was mine. Amanda. Perhaps Amanda. you don't think that Leah's here. Amanda, Maybe perhaps you you're a snitch. Just to show it around. Have I been showing I it around since we've been here? No, but like you've been talking about it nonstop. No, I have not. This is why when I get upset and I get to the point where I'm extremely heated, I don't want to hear nothing else somebody has to say. Leah never gives anyone the chance to talk. <laughs> we all feel like we have to walk on eggshells when she's in the house, and we're sick of it. Why should you waste up our space if you're just here to promote yourself? This is what Leah you don't have enough proof for that. A couple CD covers isn't enough proof, Amanda. Also, I just think you just don't assert yourself when she's yelling at you. That could be on you. Why you keep yelling? Because she doesn't ever shit. But, but she ain't gonna be able to control okay. herself if you keep yelling in her face. That's and I didn't yell at her. She got to yelling in her face. She knows she's steady yelling in my face. You were the first one to yell, Amanda. Get your one together. Get this girl, Amanda. See what I'm saying? You know, I'm just, you know, just watching you all. I know, JP, you love to put a damper on it. You're trying to calm it down. This is important. The girls are actually airing something. Um, they're actually taking quite a risk and getting something off their chest. And you keep bringing it down because you don't like this. And I, I know you don't. I know you don't. So let's... <laughs> what? <laughs> Trina goes back and forth with me. I mean, she just did a pretty good job of bringing charm back in. And then right here, she's like, oh, you don't like when the people are yelling at each other really angrily. It's like, hold on. No, no, he just ain't simmered down. Isn't your job to get people to calm down? Uh, you know, let's bring it back to where we were. Is this how let's what's bring it happening between <laughs> them? Let's bring the energy back up. Drapey, shh, let me do my job. Let's bring the energy back up. Can we get to yelling again? Let's bring it back to a yell. All right. And action. And do you keep bringing it down because you don't like this. And I, I know you don't. I know you don't. Not, so let's bring it back to where we were. Is this bomb. how what's happening? Trina, you don't get it. She's fucking yeah. crazy. She's going to kill me. She's going to kill Once all of us. You piss her off. You cannot talk to her. She is going to be new you John. Calm her down. And so how do you get through? So She's I just get away from her. That's no way to be. That's totally avoiding communication. So it's actually quite a control. Okay, so Leah might have her own anger issues to deal with, for sure. It still doesn't negate the snitching of the CDs, but uh, she definitely probably has some anger stuff going on as well. John 2.0, perhaps. Mechanism, in a sense. I mean, I think we've just had it really vibrantly going on in the room here. Because we've only ever seen her get angry one other time. The girl that was, like, disrespecting her for work at the club or something, right? I think that's because a good argument with her is screaming, yelling, throwing stuff. You know, that's not really healthy for us. And I feel as though I don't have to get that violent with her. Agree, Jeez, baby. The you best thing if you have someone like that is to calm the temperatures down and then like revisit it later. Because if they can't control their emotions in the moment, you're not going to solve it in the moment. It's not going to happen. They can try to work outside of that moment to then remember next time they're in the moment to settle down. But you know, if you're already set off, you're set off. And meanwhile, Trina's like, no, no, no you're, you're, go Leah, get, get excited, get mad. I just really realize that, you know, every girl wants a, a guy to listen to what she has to say about anything. But, you know, if you can't sit there and listen to her, then 
she's just gonna look at you like, what am I doing wrong? And then she puts all the blame on herself because she thinks she's doing something wrong. And then that's good, that's why we fight, I believe. And is it good to hear that he understands this loop? Yeah, it's great to hear it, you know, because- I'll just do something about it. I think it. he's grasping it so well. Good, well, well done. Frank realized that he needs to stop telling Christina what she wants to hear. A lot of times you're so quick, and I've said this a hundred times, you're so quick to pacify me. And when I see you just a little angry, my goal is just to make you happy again. Stu found out that he needs to tell Amanda how he feels. Boop. <laughs> what was that cut? <laughs> Boop. I feel like I'm very similar that way, actually. And I don't think it's like a terrible thing. It's kind of like the same thing that's happened with Dre P. I get if we're saying if it gets in the way of actually hearing what your significant other's saying or whatever. But like, I'm the same way with my mom. When my mom gets upset when I was a kid, my mission was to just make her happy again. That was it. I'll say whatever. I just want you to be cool. <laughs> I get that a little bit, but you got to hear what they're saying too, but you know. He sure learned that sometimes it takes an argument to get things resolved. Maybe I'm trying to control the argument by saying, hey, I don't want to talk about this right now. Finally, like we can actually let our true feelings out. Shannon's main communication issue seems to be Dan's compulsion to lie instead of just listening and responding honestly. If you hear something you don't like, you immediately just like yell and walk away. And I feel that you do that with me a lot. He's staring like, intensely. Calm down, let's just talk about this. You don't have to yell. So have you learned something about how to talk about things, do you think, today, Dan? Uh, <clears throat> man, I was thinking about that the entire time. You're thinking about what you're going to say well, no, instead I'm... of actually paying attention to the others. not telling off. I was thinking about my answer to that question the entire time. Damn it. Oh, I forgot my pre-scripted answer that I had for that question. Oh, shit. I was going to say something really emotionally mature. Fuck. Ah, damn it. Man, I was thinking about that the entire time. You're thinking about what you're going to say well, no, instead I'm... of actually paying attention to the others. not telling off. I just think it's an observation. No, I listen to everybody. It's just no, so I'm with hard to on this believe one. anything Dan tells Shannon and anything Dan tells anyone else. I want you to, like... Trust me, even if I didn't talk to you for a long time, you know? So, like, hopefully I can earn that trust back from you. He talks in so many circles. Dan still, to me, seems like a huge pathological liar. You're treading on eggshells <laughs> a little bit, and this is what today's Other girls exercise involved, was about. Like, I don't Dan trust doesn't that know guy. how to tell the truth since he's so used to lying. There's something about Dan that is not right about him. It may be difficult <laughs> to express you if you don't convey how you feel. Instead, you'll build up resentment, and I think you've seen that today. Well done, everybody. A great therapy session. Fantastic. And now Simple, the girls are stupid, pissed. silly bitches. There I it is. God, if my CD don't get back to me by the end of today, somebody gonna come up missing. You guys bring my name up in therapy again, I swear to fuck. Bring my name up in therapy again, see what happens. Utter my name to Trina. Can we just talk like mature women? You're not a mature woman. So hell no, we can't have a conversation. Get the out of my face. I don't have nothing to say to you and you can go. On. Every time I feel like I walk into the room, I honestly feel like you are making some smart ass Am comment I? about Ask me. any of these girls. Every time you make a comment, you sound stupid as and everybody feels that way. Shut yeah. up and listen. Bitch, you better get the out my face. For real. Uh -oh. Get out Okay, Leah is new job. Stupid ass yeah. bitch. I bet. You're a stupid what ass you bitch. You never make yeah. sense. What you never. Oh, I don't like the touch and aggressive, Leah. That's why you don't got Oh, Leah. Oh, yeah. Leah, that's your man. Oh, that would piss me off. That move right there, that would make me upset. If anyone does this near me, a pointing a finger near me, not saying I'd hit a woman, upset. Okay, well, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa back, whoa, back off. I never said that. <laughs> Jesus, I'm just saying, get me mad. I mean, for six years, I'm a damn good mother, bitch. That's what I'm a yeah. You shut the But I'm not Amanda, and Amanda can hit a face. woman, I think. Bitch. What? Are you in my face? Because I am, bitch. Yes, oh. I am. Guys. What you gonna do? All right, it's, it's rough. I just love to see one moment of confidence from Amanda. <laughs> a single moment of confidence where she's like, well, why don't you get out of my face? And then Aaliyah comes right back and she's like, oh shit, okay, oh, my bad. I, sorry I said anything, I, shit, okay. <laughs> she tried. <laughs> Stand up to your bullies. It'll work, kid. Stand up to your bully. Here's what happens. Cause I am, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who I am. Guys, what you gonna do? Not. What you gonna do? Nothing. Exactly. Get out of here. Exactly, get bitch. The get her off of me, me. bitch. Oh, oh, coming up. <laughs> Did it again. She gets confident for like one second. You the shut the fella. up, bitch. Why the are you in my face? Because I am, bitch. Get who I am. Because I am, bitch. 
What you gonna do? Nothing. Exactly. Leah walked up into my face telling me to get out of her face. Why is Leah always starting? Get her off of exactly, me! bitch! Ass! What? Yeah, bitch, every yeah. time I come at your ass, you okay. creeping down. But then when I turn back around, you wanna jump up. Leah always has to yell. And that's kind of scary. You so. shut up. You talk so much, Leah. You talk too much, bitch. Oh. Stupid ass bitch. Leah is such a tool, dude. Is there like, a girl version of Tool Academy? Is right here. She just called her a tool. 26 years old and you're acting like this? She needs to be in the other house learning. Shit got heated in the girls' villa. God damn. I woke up this morning and we all knew we had a challenge coming up that day, or we thought we did at least. Now I'm starting to feel like we'll see more because I still don't believe anybody. So like I wasn't really believing Dre P's reformation, but he's kind of been killing it lately. And he said another mature thing today. So I'm kind of like rooting for Dre P, but I'm also now thinking that his relationship might not work out because Leah definitely has some anger problems. So like now I don't know if I want that to work out. Because if I can get this badge, I almost believe I can put one of those rings back on Shay's finger. I want you to put, put this back on your finger. You told me you didn't know if you were in love with me anymore. One ring I gave her when we first started dating. Oh yeah, I the forgot The second about this. ring I gave Shay was a promise ring. Did I give her a promise? No. Well, I never what's the knew point? That. I never understood that. I, I remember this from like episode one. He gave her a promise ring with no promise, but like under the guise that he was gonna get me. I don't understand it. All right. I really want to get those rings back on Shay's finger, and I think this would be the best moment ever to try to do it. Gentlemen, please report to the field for the communication challenge. Yeah! All right, challenge time. Oh. The boys are here. Oh my God. <laughs> They always run in with such energy. Welcome, couples. Yesterday in therapy, you learned about the importance of communication in your relationship. In today's challenge, we're gonna put your communication skills to the test. In this challenge, you're gonna be putting together an entire living room. Oh, classic. Oh, a classic from season one. They've reused the challenge. First time, this was in season one, the first episode where they had to build furniture. <laughs> Shut up and read the Oh, oh god damn it. Tommy's going off. Are you serious right now? She was trying to demasculate me, and you're not gonna show me up. I'm gonna break something, and I'm gonna pick this heavy <laughs> chair up, and I'm gonna throw it. Great challenge. Actually, an amazing challenge, and that's why I love the show. I was hooked. From episode one of the first season, I'm like, damn, that is a great challenge for couples. Because it's just real. It's not a game. You're just making furniture with your significant other. It's gonna get rough. <laughs> You Why can't John be here? Oh. While your girlfriends will be doing so true. the assembly. Dude, John would have been running to other people's furniture sets, just breaking legs off and shit. He would have like jumped on a table, you know? Oh, For the construction. Wait a minute. Nicole has never put anything to a yeah, The girlfriend life. makes the bed, She's the never guy really gives done the instructions. Any labor. Ladies, you are not permitted to look at or read the instructions. So, good communication is a must. After each piece of furniture is constructed, you must place it in- Dude, it's hard to build furniture with reading the instructions to begin with. So like, that's really hard. <laughs> the room. Add your finishing touches. Flowers, candles, make it homey. Now, as you can see, there's only one flat screen television. The final okay. step is to place that TV into the entertainment center. Whoever has the whole room put together and the plasma screen in first wins the challenge Building and furniture the flat not screen hard. TV. Depends what the furniture is and where it's from the TV and who wrote enough, the rules. The winner and by rules, I mean instructions. Also get a date in the conjugal visit room. I built a lot of furniture. Sometimes it's hard. The conjugal visit room is the room where you can get freaky with your girl if you want or if she'll let you. There Mark, it is. Get set, go. You. This challenge is for you to what maybe you have sex. First, Go! A lot of different languages. Hold Let's on. find English. Okay. You'll be quicker on your knees, babe. I'm trying to get on my knees. There you go. In this challenge, I'm getting so frustrated that Nicole is not moving fast at all. I'm telling you, it would be quicker mm. on your knees. You had the same problem last man. challenge. They're against you like that. I can't. And she's getting really, really frustrated. She's getting frustrated. Not me. I'm not getting frustrated. On your knees, babe. On your knees. She's getting pissed. I hate manual labor. Okay. We probably don't have a chance at this. Oh, they're cruising. Cruising. Where do I put it? What do I do? Um, what do I do? What do I do? Back left corner. Back left corner? Ha <laughs> ha. 
Okay, come on, let's knock this table out. I kept looking around and I saw Dre and Leah, and they were like going to town. I want a flat screen, baby. We need one in our apartment, don't we, Leah? Hell yeah, we need a flat screen. The she's building the table so she so can throw them at people. She's not throw. building furniture, Frank, she's building an armory. Um. So what was supposed to be here to keep those together? That was Put in the middle, that's the coffee table. <laughs> All right, now here comes the fun part. And I look over and I see Dre P and Aaliyah, they were like in the lead almost, man. They were getting done. Good job. We're going to do some nailing and you done for real. Ah. Everybody's getting their entertainment center. Very right strange that the only woman here who like really has a hard time communicating and is argumentative and they have really bad back and forth where you can't reach her, you know, on a logical level. She's the one that can very clearly build furniture. <laughs> you look hot. You look hot like that shirt. Oh, That's helpful charm. Thank you. Charm seems more focused on Andrea than on drawing attention to himself, which is a refreshing change. <laughs> Flip this. You see how they do this? They can spin it in any which way they want. They can spin it no matter what. Last thing I thought was going to happen from that comment was Trina being like, this is good. But no, that was good because he's focused on her, her tits. <laughs> I like how much he was focusing on her breasts. The other piece. piece There's about 80 pieces in front of me, Dan. Piece under the piece. I was just getting so frustrated with Dan because he didn't know how to communicate to me in a way that I understood. That's what I said first. No, no, the bottom. See how it's the bottom. bottom. I'm like, why are you yelling at me about it? Stop. Leave it there. Do not change. I hate this challenge. Dan's angry tone with Dan undermines their chance to work effectively together. He's got a lot of work to do. Get on your knees. <laughs> Is it easier on my knees? It's a knees? hell of a lot easier. I'm just with you. Dude's man does not, you know, very. <laughs> Anyone else see that? Stu is just drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> He's just drinking beer on the side. You don't give a fuck, dude. They gave him a whole cooler. Actually, I think I remember this too. They gave him beer for it just to make it a little bit more spicy. Let the guys get drunk when they tell him to build furniture. A man does not, you know, very hands-on like handyman stuff. But, you know, what the hell? Like, we're here. Let's have fun together and just finish it. Stu and Amanda may not be leading this challenge, but they're taking advantage of this time to bond and reach out to you're each not other. not doing terrible. We are so close to first, baby. And then to know we're going to get a TV and a conjugal visit? Oh, I need it. Yeah, she just I'm knows what like, she's doing. Me and Andre got this. There's no way anybody can touch us. Take it over there. Get that last table. That's it. She might not even need Andre's together. instructions. And it's like going crazy. Like, it's neck to neck. Screw them in. Screw them in. Screw them in. They're not even going. Dre P and Leah's table's already up, and she's finishing up the, the entertainment center. Nail the rest of the nails in the top. Come on, baby. Baby, we're so close. So I was like, Shay, they didn't put all their nails. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on, baby. Come on, we're so close, we're so close, babe. I'm finishing up twisting my leg up, and I was like, they're close, Shay they're close, another heart attack. We can't yeah. lose this now. Okay. Keep that heart in check. Okay. Keep the corn starch away from her. Where does the couch go? It goes in the very back. Come on. I think Dre P and this. Leah got this locked. Go, babe, go, go! Dre P, you cannot run for the TV until all the parts are used. Leah, you are not done. Wait, wait, wait. What take are these back, rules? Take it back, take it back, take it back. Dre P, put the TV back. <laughs> Dre P, put the TV Leah down. Was setting the table, telling me, go, babe, go get it. She should have waited till her table was completely set. P, you were not cleared. Head back to your carpet. He had to you run not the clear TV for the TV. And set it down, and then I find out that I had three nails that wasn't put in mine. So we're, it's neck to neck again. Come on, Shay, use those nails anywhere. Use those nails anywhere, Shay. This one's so bad. Are we clear? Come on, Shay. Come on, Shay. Come on, Shay. Dre P and Leah got, got this it. locked. Go. Go. I got him in. Go oh, back. it's neck and neck. Oh, it's Coming neck out. and neck. Oh, my God. This is Toshiba. Oh, my God. That was a Vizio. I can't believe that. Oh, he got it? Yeah. No way. <laughs> Woo! Tyler no. and Shay win the challenge. Congratulations, guys. <sighs> yes. Thank you. We won. Like, I'm so excited. Um, you built that table upside down. <laughs> I can't believe it, hey, man. <laughs> oh, she's crying? Oh, fair. okay. Okay, I, Leah's got some emotional problems. Thank you so much. You've both proven that you have strong communication skills, and not only have you won a flat screen TV, you've also won an evening in the conjugal visit room! They win the flat screen TV. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is definitely my turn. Is that expensive back then? Sure. I don't and know. I'm gonna show Shay how much of a man I am. And then I'm gonna give it to her like that, baby. It's gonna be good. Guys, one pump. Years I'm done. Room. That's I'll it. See. I can't believe that. We put it down. <laughs> I came back. He cleared us. That's bullshit. The bullshit, man. 
She was done! I believe that Dre P was kind of a sore loser. It, it's all competition out there, you know what I mean? So we're all fighting for our girlfriends. Hey, good job. You guys did great. Right, Matt, quit talking to me, bro. Hey, okay, please. Well, you gotta yeah, remember all the guys are drunk right now, too. <laughs> no! He does act like oh, a Drapey, spoiled don't brat. lose me. Come on, baby. Bitches need to sit on the sideline. Nah, no, dude, look at your entertainment center. It's put together wrong, bro. Drapey and Leia thought that they were being cheated out of something, but you know, they're the ones who <laughs> up in the first place. Even if they would have got all their props on the table, I don't think they would have won it anyway. The shelves weren't in the right place. Should have won. Oh, okay, it was them. Grabbed a TV. Okay, a little sore loser-ish. One man! They might be a match made in heaven. Okay, sorry. A lot sore loser-ish. A lot sore loser-ish. I want to make a promise here that I can be a better boyfriend. Is John still here? I fucking wish. I fucking wish. I definitely deserve this date. The con, the con, the con, I can't the conjugal, right? Conjugal visit room, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really know how to say, I definitely know how. It's okay. I think I just yeah. started a word like a sentence ago. The room was kind of dim and there was a beautiful bed and there was like a little couch, you know, which that's what like we kind of sat on first. <laughs> I'm extremely, extremely proud of the progress that you've made and I'm so proud of the communication. It feels good to communicate. It feels good to talk, you know. That's, all, that's what I ask you to do all the time. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? He's only thinking about sex right now. Like a promise. Oh no, you promise ring time. Back. <laughs> Please. I was nervous that Shay wouldn't take him back. I was nervous that she wasn't ready yet. And I was nervous that it was too soon. I promise you that I'll always be in love with you. And I promise you that, you know, we're gonna make it through this together. And we're gonna leave here strong. And I just wanna let you know that I've been working my ass off for you. Yeah. I, really I just don't like this whole promise back. ring thing. <laughs> I just think the promise ring's really corny. I don't know. I want him back. You take him back? I want him back. I love you so much. Don't you tuck him back. Oh, baby. Tyler knows how I feel about him, and now I feel that I know the feelings that Tyler has for me again. And that's truly all I ask for. Thank you, baby. Now that bought him three so more years to propose, or give her mama. another ring. <laughs> mm. Yeah, cameraman, what are you doing in the room still? <laughs> cameraman! Mm. So Get the much. fuck out of there. Take that promise ring off, babe. Goody. Take that ring off that you just put on so we can have sex. Do people take off rings when they have sex? I don't know. Let me fuck your promise ring. I'll put my dick inside the promise ring I just gave you. Take my gauges out and I'll put my dick through that too. I don't know. We get kinky in here. Two men from the academy is a difficult task. So I've asked the girls to join me for deliberation so I can hear why they think their boyfriend should stay. Andrew, let's start with you. I was feeling very discouraged last night about our relationship. I'm not going to stay in this class no more. That's the truth out there. But I think that we really did a turnaround today in the challenge, so I would really like it if he stayed so we can keep doing the right thing. All right, thank you. Had keep doing the right thing? It's hard for him to express what he's saying because he's so used to lying. Uh, <clears throat> man, I was thinking about that the entire time. And now he's trying so hard to, like, tell the truth but there are still issues that we do need to touch on. Mm, good. All of the girls made strong <laughs> cases for keeping their boyfriends enrolled in the academy. As far as communication, I did get a breakthrough. How have you been feeling like us being separated? I miss you a lot. But I had to ask him to say what he needed to say. Eventually, I would like him to come just tell me whenever he is having a Is that a breakthrough? Thank I you. miss you a lot. You I don't trust you. I think Frank needs to stay because I don't believe he doesn't have the desire to improve our relationship. When I see you just a little angry, my goal is just to make you happy again. I feel Frank doesn't have the tools. He needs to make a sustainable change that will not only make him a better boyfriend, but possibly a wonderful husband. Good, well, well put. I was particularly interested to hear what Leah had to say after the challenge went so badly with Dre P. If Dre P gets kicked off, well, he also got upset. If Dre P gets kicked off, I think it's mostly Leah's fault. <laughs> But it also Dre P did show a little sore loserness in the challenge. But if he gets kicked off, it's definitely because of Leah. It's the first time I ever had to go off of what Andre told me to do. And we finished, you know, in a good amount of time and almost won, not quite. But Andre obviously isn't the only one with the communication problems. I obviously have some 
communication issues as well. You're a stupid ass bitch. No. You communicated very clearly that she's a stupid ass bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you communicated abundantly clear that they're stupid, silly bitches. All right, thank you. I think it's kind of unfair for Leah to say they're all like hunky-dory, whatever, like he's been doing such a great job. And the reality of it is they both threw temper tantrums in the challenge and they acted like little kids. That's bull so bull man. You two bitches need to sit on the sidelines. So I've got a lot to think about. You're dismissed. Bullshit, man. I built furniture so fast. Two of us are leaving. Oh yeah, yeah two are going. Just... All right, well, let's do it now. We'll do the poll real fast now. Who goes home? We got six people, right? Why is everyone going for Charm? Really? Oh yeah, Charm was the one that walked out of the initial therapy though. It's gonna be Charm and Dre P because of Leah. But yeah, that does seem about right. Charm and Dre P have the most. All right, Dre P and Charm. Okay, lock it. Elimination tonight is much worse than any of the other eliminations. It's a double elimination. The higher chance that Frank's gonna come out that door tonight. I'm scared. Even though I feel like I did good in therapy and the challenge, Shannon got a little frustrated with me and I tried to work my hardest. If I go home tonight, I, there's a possibility that I'm gonna lose Shannon. Welcome, gentlemen. Trina has reviewed your cases and a decision has been made. Those of you who have passed will earn the communication merit badge and the privilege of remaining here at the Academy for another week. After John got kicked out last week, I mean, literally anything could happen that I think I'm wrong about. So you know what? I'm gonna throw a crazy thing out there. I think Charm stays. I think Charm stays. I think Dre P and Leah leave. And then I think I'm gonna call out a sneaky one here. I think Dan leaves. I think it's Dan and Dre P. Cause I think what Trina will do is if it's communication, she's gonna be like, you did bad, but then you communicated and you came back in. That was good communication. If you are expelled, your girlfriend and the fate of your relationship will be waiting for you outside. All of your relationships have communication issues to be worked on. Hearing criticism, absorbing it, learning from it, are all important steps to take to improve communication. Trina for sure is gonna pull that, right? Tyler, please step forward. Tyler, communication was your biggest concern. You opened up in therapy with the group and with each other. And congrats and on the sex too. Talent, which is a sign that your relationship is getting back on track. Congratulations. You passed with flying colors. She's like, I like those moves in the bedroom Please. too. I was watching everything. Baby love. Dan. Please step forward. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was wrong. They're calling Dan this early. Dan. In therapy, you kept searching for an answer to keep you out of trouble, instead of listening and responding honestly. And in the challenge, you spoke at Shannon instead of to her. Okay, this sounds all bad. The bo bottom. I'm saying the bottom. There's no holes on the bottom. He's a pathological bottom. liar. Until you improve your communication skills, your relationship is in danger. Dan. I'm sorry, you're just a tool. Yes. Please hang up your oh, on the way out. Gunner's right. Oh, Gunner got it right. Wow. I love that they did it on the second guy they call up. They didn't do their normal thing. They called a second guy up and they said, you're going home. Wow. Perfect. I was about to say, they didn't redeem Dan. He's a pathological liar and he was yelling at his girlfriend during the challenge. <laughs> there was no redeeming for him. It didn't happen. What the hell? I wasn't expecting that. I figured there's a chance it could happen. I was. But I wasn't expecting it. Trina explained it, broke it down. And uh, I guess Dan was still being a tool. He was the hottest low key. Not right. I got the boot. Life's gonna be tough out of the Tool Academy. It's gonna be uh, probably a lot of whacking off. What? I must have heard that wrong. I personally just must have heard that wrong. So I'll, I'll let it play again. I got the boot. Life's gonna be tough out of the Tool Academy. It's gonna be. Uh, probably a lot of whacking off. Why would your life be a lot of whacking off after Tool Academy? Okay, so I assume he thinks they're gonna break up. Okay, I'm getting it now. He thinks they're about to break up right now. So he's gonna be jacking off a lot. Cause to me, I'm just like, you could have been jacking off a lot before Tool Academy too. That actually would be something I would probably say on the show. Not meaning to sound weird like that, but <laughs> thanks for explaining, Gunner. I got you. Why is he waving? It's me. 
Why is he being cringe? Dan God, got kicked out of school academy because he doesn't make any sense when he talks. And this week, he just got the ick right now. Everything else yeah, was fine. She just got the ick right now. All right, well. What happened? Uh, I'll tell you. What happened? I'll Show. tell you the truth. Later. I've learned a lot, and I want to take what I learned and go back and be in love with you. What is up with his eyes, dude? He's. Uh, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> you got to take it down a notch, all right? I don't know if the ketamine's hitting right now or what. What happened? I'll Show. tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. A lot, and I want to take what, what is I this? And go back and be in love with you. And be in love with you? Because, I mean, I didn't know what else to do. I mean. You look beautiful. He's got to be on drugs, right? He must have just took a hit on his way out. He had a bong upstairs and just took a big fat rip on his way out. Because he's being weird. And he came out with the wave, too. I think he's high. Why are you smiling like this is a because, joke? Because, I mean, I didn't know what else to do. I mean, you look beautiful. Will you come with me, please? I don't want to be with you more than I don't think he's drunk. I think he's high. Oh, all right. Please. I want to throw a rock. Well. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> Why is he talking like that, dude? Let's go. Reminds me of like Charlie and Always Sunny in that one thing where he's just like, we're talking about you, dude. Is he listening to us? I can't he, tell. He's listening. He's not understanding. Yeah, he doesn't even like get us, man. It's We're talking about you. Ah. He must be high as shit. That's all I can explain it. She's staying though. I'm surprised. So I guess he's not going to be whacking off a lot. Um, well, I, um, uh, well. Poor Shannon. I pity her. Let me get that for you. Hope you get run over by a bus, Dan. Holy fuck. <laughs> well, Shannon's gonna get run over by the I'm same bus. It's kinda because mean. I know Shannon deserves a lot better than Dan. Love is blind, I guess. No, that's a new show. That comes 10 years later. You can't say that yet. Well, we lost one. The weirdest exit ever. That was the weirdest, most uncomfortable exit. I don't know what that was, but they somehow stay together. Bad move. Stu, please step forward. Stu. Yesterday, I was happy to see you open up and express yourself in therapy. Today, you didn't take the challenge itself seriously. But Stu did but okay in the Amanda challenge. You and to have a great they had time. fun. That's more important than assembling an entertainment center. There it so is. good for you. Stu you. stock on the rise. Stu, congratulations. You have passed the communications course. Thank you. Charm or Dre P? Tishaw, please step forward. Oh, Tishaw's still there? Tishaw, you always open up and tell Nicole how you feel. Right, wrong, or indifferent. It can be hurtful, <laughs> but it shows a willingness to communicate. That's <laughs> you say really mean things to her. Again, the last episode, you get really jealous really easily and don't really equate cheating the same way. But at least you communicate, I guess. Ted, <laughs> you have passed the communications course. Congratulations. Thank you. The bar is very low. Three of you remain, <laughs> He's but only two badges. Frank, please step forward. Your emotional manipulation Frank, was communication. In therapy, Christina expressed her concern that you'd rather pacify her with a lie instead of telling her the truth. During the challenge, you were completely unable to give clear instructions Empire's to your girlfriend. Fine. Frank, at this stage in the academy, you are just scraping by. But for now, you have passed. Congratulations. All right, drape your charm. I knew it. I knew it, baby. You gotta get charm out of here. I wanna change my guess. I think charm's going back. I think drapey actually makes it through. No, but charm, what I say before, charm made up with her or whatever. So Trina's gonna pull that shit. But drapey technically communicated with Leah. All right, we'll do another poll for this one. Now that we're just neck and neck. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get my camera back. My camera's not there. My camera's not there. My camera's not there. Where am I? I'm scared. Where am I? Oh, 
that's something. All right. Oh, geez. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, that's so annoying. Dre P, please step forward. I'm not doing the poll. Let's kind of shut it down again. <laughs> We're not taking that risk. Ah, fuck you guys. All right. If the PC shuts down, this is on you. Who goes home? Dre P or Charm? Go. We're thinking Dre P. Lean in Dre P. I'm hoping you're wrong, but I think you're right. I'll throw my bag in with Dre P too, even though I want it to be Charm. All right. Show me the finale. What I did in therapy put me in a high zone. I'm not going to stay in this class no more. That's the truth out there. And what Dre P did during the challenge put him in high zone. No! Hey, please, please. Dre P, step forward. Take it on. Now I know I'm going home. Dre P, you and Leah both have serious communication issues, not only with each other, but also with your classmates. Your outburst during the challenge makes me worry that you're more concerned with winning. I think Dre P might be fine if he got called first. I'm sorry, Dre P. You're just a tool. No! Now you have your jacket in the arm wall on the way out. Uh, Girlfriend's waiting for you outside. He really outside. hits it with the fast. Wow. I think Tool Academy definitely made a big mistake tonight. Maybe <laughs> I've just progressed the more The entire Tool Academy. He needs more work than me, so... They feel like they can work on him instead of me. Again, Charm. yeah, I think he's right. Charm does need more work than him. But I guess for the communication thing, it's going to be that. So he kind of knew it. He was quick with it this time. The host, he was just like, ah, let it rip. You're just a tool. Please step forward. And now here comes the little Trina. Charm. You had issues, but we fixed them. I know this was a them. tough week for you, but I commend you for returning to therapy and reconnecting with Andrea during the challenge. You passed the communication course. Congratulations. <sighs> He didn't pass shit. You. Charm, please step forward and accept your communication tool badge. Thanks. Crazy. Congrats. Congrats. Craziness. I don't believe that Charm should be here at all. I feel that Charm's a liar, but I'm just kind of worried about Shay. And if Trina thinks that he's fake, then she'll see it, I guess. <sighs> Is Leah gonna go insane? So that's why I do think Dan was high because they come out in a different fit. It's like they hang up their jacket and then they go upstairs. And I think he hits the bong up there. You know, you can't get blackout drunk in that time, but you can you can have enough time to hit a bong rip. I'm sorry. What they say, babe? I tell you. No, tell me now what they say. Oh, um, apparently in the challenge we started off great, but then I was just bitched and compliant. All right, let's go home. You ready? Yeah. All right. Bye, Bye, Chill. guys. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Good luck, lady. Love you. Leah is out of the house. It's over and done with. Real and fast, she just, like, chucks a rock. She just doesn't see it coming. Like, Amanda's, like, talking to their friends or whatever. Just, ah, what the hell? Ah, they're driving away. I have to worry about her chucking any more soda cans at my head. That's what you think. Boom, bitch. I had a soda can the entire time. <laughs> had one loaded just for you, Amanda. It just sucks we had to go home. I know that everything happens for a reason. I don't think I did anything wrong. I think I'm too good. I'm progressing too much. I don't know what else to do to us. <laughs> I was progressing too much. This will never bring off. us down. All right, well, you know, kind of sad to see Dre P go because he was actually kind of on the up and up. He was doing better. I wonder if the music career ever worked out. Let's check that out. Where's Dre P at today? Dre P Tool Academy. I really could not give a fuck about Dan. I just want to know if Dre P's music career took off. Um, Did it work out? This is five weeks ago. 5,600 likes. That's pretty good. Mud City. He's still making music. At this moment, we need to say it's a good Dre. Yes! Yeah! Yes! It's a good Dre P. Dre P joins us this morning. That's perfect, isn't it? And just in time for Thanksgiving, he is going to take care of his fellow Toledoans. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, so you... All right, sick, Trey P. All right, cool. Feel like Webby wiped me down. I'm on TV when I'm in town. Hundred turkeys passed them out. Name an actress, took it down. Flew her ass right out of town. She said... Okay, is this... The same girl What's though? Up, girl That's not. Verse, verse here with my boy. All right, he's got a new girl. Dre P. Dre P. The oh wait, no, this is a promotion thing. With Dre. Never mind. Is this her? Girl, That's her still, right? That's Leah, right? That's two weeks ago. So I guess they're still together. You don't think so? <laughs> really? <laughs> There's really no other evidence of, of any woman. <laughs> Yo, y'all low key would be a power couple. Oh, so just like another industry person, maybe. All right, doesn't look like they're together. It looks like he's just doing uh mud. Oh, gutter, please stream. Go live. 